I don't even know why that angel's there. It's like he's there to punish you if you come here without the key. It's more like a distraction more than anything. Uh, here's one of those scenes I was talking about where uh, the platforming system actually fails you horribly. Oh, because the way that platform there is curved, it actually makes it so your momentum stops, which means your jump just falls, just completely fails. I guess I won't cut out that earlier part. Ah, open faster. Fit right on the walls. There we go. What the? <laughs> okay, I, I've never seen that happen before. Uh, you didn't see it, but when I first started recording, the game actually had a, uh, a game maker error report. Yes, I got the wings. Fine now. Now you can pretty much get every power up in the game. But, uh, I, I don't know, this game's glitching on me today. Alright, so, again, I'm not, uh, bothering rushing this game at all. Uh, not bothering collecting everything, right? I'm just sort of rushing the game. Just to show you it, uh, I definitely recommend playing it. You can have some fun exploring the nooks and crannies. It, it definitely reminds me a lot of Metroid in a sense that you can, well, yeah, chill out there, buddy. In a sense, it's very much like Metroid. There's a lot of exploration, and uh, it's fun. There, see, I just parried that dude. It's awesome. Okay, here's one of those moments. One of those moments. Three. Three points of HP. Beautiful. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Oh, oh, knew it. Alright, we're gonna skip the red orb. Uh, you really don't need those, honestly. When I did the run with only one health, I don't think I ever really bothered picking them up either. I don't know if I did or not. Oh, I ran right into that. My skill, it's being questioned. I actually haven't played this game in a long while. I almost wonder if that uh, rock with the X's on it is taken from Braid, because... I mean, it's not like it's anything new to have walls that don't open till all the enemies are killed, but it looks just like the one for Braid in the, the two hunt scenes. But, uh, anyway, we're getting back up. And uh, now here's the reason why I couldn't go back topside as soon as I got the wings out of this cloud. Can't be cut through. And now we get the rainbow sword of homosexuality. Ah. Hates my rainbow blazers of doom. Yes, they stay home, they move through walls, they do just about everything. And that's what the red orbs I've been collecting have been for, uh, increasing my power meter. Like I said, you really don't need them. Uh, you'll never find yourself really clamoring for energy. I mean... It's just so powerful anyway. And even in the fight where you need to use it the most, honestly, I never really cared. You you won't find yourself charging as much. Now let's see. Is that a power up? No, it's a power up. Okay. See, even this scene, it like lets you build up the power to just raise all these enemies. It's kind of fair. Well, I, I think I spoke too soon. I ran out of energy. Alright. Ignore. 
Okay, here's a secret. There we go. And it's just looking at the map. Once you've filled it out, uh, you can pretty much guess where everything is. And again, there's a bunch of pieces of the map I haven't gone to, but all they do is give you health upgrades and magic upgrades. And I guess it doesn't show it here, but after you beat the game, it, uh, it'll keep track of how many you've found. And it has a few medals you can unlock. I really like this game. I'm not gonna lie. I, I really do. Alright, here's the epic boss fight. This is, like, if the game wasn't just a satisfying little uh, Metroid-ish type game, this fight's just worth it. I don't know, it's just awesome. I especially like this here. I had this ability earlier that, you know, got you thrown into hell. Is now... Now you have the tools to beat it. Ah! Alright, I can move faster. Ah, shoot. Uh, yeah. Basically, this guy's pretty simple to fight. Uh, he goes into two attacks. One, he puts up a shield that reflects your magic. Um, and you basically just stop using your magic. Or else it'll you know, sit right back at you, and you can just slice away. Then he'll shoot a couple beams at you, and then he has two other moves he'll pull out. This one, where he makes it rain rocks, makes my life a living hell. Or, he also has an ability, he does the uh, grapple thing again. Oh no, that's right, he does this. So cheap, Super Saiyan move, I don't even know what it is. Come at me, Goldilocks. It's kind of sad, the boss music's kind of lame compared to the actual in-game music. It's not the fault of the music, it's just the rest of the music's so good. Ah! This is punishment for not playing that first scene right. Oh crap. Totally used up all my magic. Oh yeah, and he'll do this move too. I, I forgot. See, I really like this boss fight, but it's been a long time since I've played this game. Come on, come on. Oh no, it reflects. Crap. I think it did some damage, but I'd rather just deal with the giant ball. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's it. I'm finishing you off. Yes! With one health remaining, the epicness of the scene is intact. I'm going to teabag you a few times. Call it a day. A victory for... Uh... The bad guy. I, I still want to know why the hell there's angels in hell. And... Uh. and now the world is mine. I'm just gonna go uh, kick some ass, take some wings. Which is, don't know. Challenge mode unlocked. Put in this very simplistic plan. But yeah, there's 14 points of health, 10 points of magic, and as you can see, I got most of it just playing straight through, but there are secrets, and it's, it's fun to actually get everything. Um, can I beat it in 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Oh, I'm way over recording. I'm going to have to split this into two parts. Well, uh, if you watch this video, thank you very much for watching. Uh, tell me anything I did wrong. Anything I need to do right. Am I rambling too much? Am I not? Do I need to stay a little more on topic? Um, I don't know. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and until next time.